Hello guys, this is Alexander Thomas. This is SGD113, the while loop. Also, the just basically loops in general. Alright, let's look at our program code. Alright, so you'll see in this, I've got a few things here. Let's just go over a little in order. Stack void, this is just the intro thing. They give me this immediately. String, that is saying a word or words that they're supposed to say. This is integer. This is wherever I put for a number. Now you can see I got head demon health, deem, player demon attack, player health, player attack. Now you also notice these are zero. That doesn't make sense. So for right now, what will happen is the player and the player is going to start at 180 health. The demon will start at 100 and or 200 attack. 200 hits. Now you'll notice that these say attack are is at zero. That doesn't seem any much sense, but I'll explain why in a second. All right. So first off, we have our intro. Intro, and you can see it says counter right line. You enter the dungeon and face the demon. Let's battle. And they have counter reline. We've already covered this in other cl in other videos. So now this is the first thing we have not seen before. Random R. Again, technically, I don't have to use R here. I just used R because random. It makes sense for random. This is allowing us to program a random number. So that allows us to uh, program it. Now, the reason why I put it here instead of putting it down here is because if I did it down here, then I would have to do it three or four times. Times up here, I can put it as many times as I many I can put as many random numbers as I want, and it will be randomized. Yes. Now you notice I have a. Uh, commented that's what this double slash is is those things are not actually code those are just little notes for me hey this is a count first counts reline allows us to enter for certain things player entry now player entry is basically saying that I've entered the um have entered the actual battle. It's not really completely relevant. This could actually be named anything pretty much. And it would not make a difference. Difference. It just has to be the same for each one of these. Now, it says if we have our if statement. Remember what if does? If is telling us if a certain situation has been met that then it'll give you this thing give you this outcome. If another situation has been met, then it'll give you another outcome. And that's where this while comes in. Now, while will continue going until a certain situation has been met. And it's not player entry is one or player entry is two, or that matter, they are either one of these things. It actually would be down here. If, this other if, player health is less than zero, or actually, in this case, technically equal to zero. Or else, if team health is zero, you know that's the only way this while loop is going to, end. and the while is going to continue going until it reaches one of those two scenarios. So you can see now, I have a player attack. Player attack is about the damage that the player does. Nice. Now R next is basically giving me, allowing me to have a random number. If I don't have R next or for matter actually this R doesn't have to be, but if I don't have someone like this, then this won't be random. It will just it won't get it will won't get to say anything in fact. Now counts a right line be it, so now this is something new. Player attack and R or this little zero in parentheses. Now this is basically where is basically a if it basically like you put X into a pro, uh, into a problem in math. 
this player attack is just putting in whatever this is. The reason why it's zero using zero is because player attack is the first one. Now you might ask, why is it not one then? Well, zero is the first number ever used in a code normally. So that's why it is that. So then you'll see else if player entry is two, player attack is R next one night. 20 to 90 and council was launched to attack you with your axe yeah okay so and this player attacks now you'll notice something a big here though that will be a little weird later this demon attack it says this is it says the same thing but this is not the same thing here I think well it turns out whatever's after this is going to be which placed right here so let's go ahead and run this program. All right. You've entered the dungeon. Let's battle. Okay. So now you would just hit enter here. You would just hit like you can potentially hit any key. It won't make a difference and then just hit enter. It doesn't this number will not matter in this case. It doesn't matter. So it says use one to enter your sword and two to enter use your axe. So I'm going to use two. And now it represents. Now it tells you the health points. We'll look at that in a second. Let's put one here just to show you it. Now let's say I didn't hit use any of those keys. I didn't use any of them. Let's say I use. Actually, I'm going to put another two in here and make it closer. I'm going to use some like four or five. It'll say you punch <laughs> you punch the demon you deal two. Ew. Ew. And you take fifty minutes. So you're actually you're really close to being dead. Let's put one. Now here's the thing though. If you are killed, whether or not the demon was killed, you actually will lose. So let's go back to this. I'm gonna do it again. Let's do it one more time. This time we're going to use our keys. One, one, uh, two, one. Demon has you see the, and then you win. So that was the third scenario. Now there's now I showed you the other scenario because yes, the reason now here's the thing: a lot of players, if you try to do nothing, then it'll just you know say you failed around, you did nothing, yada yada yada. You did a little bit here, but not a whole lot. This will be a compass we'll use in a later video. Yeah. Then comment now. This little cup line of code here and right here, both of those are the same kind of code. This is just allow it what's the damage being actually dealt, and it lets it show what's there. So this little symbol right here, you kind of hard to see. It's, it's more like a minus and an equal sign. This is just basically saying. And the same thing is if player health minus demon attack is equal to the outcome. Same thing with demon health and player health. Now, these little situations, if player equals zero, then it ends the game. Now, here we go. And it shows these outcomes. Breaks are very useful. If I don't have any breaks in here, if I just took those out, then, well, it's it's gonna take. It'll just it'll read this all the way. It'll read this first line of code right here, and then it'll just skip all the way down to council read line. And we don't want that. That's why it's there. Oh, but you'll notice something here at council read line, the last one, the last council read line, not counting this one. You see, your health points is zero. Your second health points, yes. Well, what happens if you put zero here and put zero here is it'll actually just say the player's health twice. It won't say the demon's health. Demon's health is not going to be there. Here. That's the reason why you have that in there. And that's how the while statement works. While statement will just continue going until. And just let you guys know, this uh, these little, these one here and this one here. Those could be any numbers, it will not matter. Matter because it could read code will not read those codes. They'll read skipping this altogether.
and going directly to this code, and then go for the rest of the code. So thank you guys. Nice. Nice. And thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time.